Hi, I'm Elisa, and in this video we will build a zoetrope following project 10 from the starter kit. A zoetrope is a simple animation device that creates the illusion of motion. When it's spinning, it seems like all the still images inside are moving. In this project, we will use several components that we already know from the previous project. A DC motor to make a zoetrope spin, a potentiometer to control the speed of the motor, and two switches, one to decide the direction and one to start and stop the motor. In the motorized pinwheel project, we also learned about transistors and diodes. A new component that we need in this project is an H-bridge. An H-bridge is a component that holds large circuits in a tiny package and it has a number of transistors and diodes built in. Take a look at your H-bridge. The part with the dimple is referred to as the top. The dimple looks a bit like an U and helps you to identify the pin numbers as shown in the image on page 104. Collect all the components and let's build the circuit. Make sure your board is not powered. I have added wires for power and ground here, as well a wire from this side of the breadboard to the other side. So I have ground on both sides of the breadboard. Then I add two switches. Place the switches on top of the gap in the middle of the breadboard and connect them to digital pins four and five. One side of the switch goes to power and the other side to a digital pin and through a 10K ohm resistor to ground. Place the potentiometer on top of the cap too. The leg that is alone on one side goes to the analog pin zero and the two other legs go to the power and ground. Place the H bridge also using the gap on the breadboard. You might need to slightly bend the leg so it fits perfectly. I have the part with the dimple towards the potentiometer. The H bridge has 16 pins. Connect the pin number 1 of the H bridge to digital pin 9 on the Arduino. This is used to adjust the speed of the motor. Pin 2 of the H bridge to digital pin 3 on the Arduino and pin 7 of the H bridge to digital pin 2 on the Arduino. These pins are used to control the direction of the motor. Pins 4 and 5 need to be both connected to crown and pin 16 to 5 voltage. Pin 3 of the H bridge goes to the motor's black wire and pin 6 of the H bridge goes to the motor's red wire. Pin 8 goes to the power rail on the other side of the breadboard. Then I take the battery snap, but I don't yet connect it to the battery. The battery snap's red wire goes to the same power rail as the H bridge's pin 8, this side of the breadboard. It is important that the battery and the Arduino board's 5 volts are connected to different power rails. The black wire of the battery snap goes to the ground. Now our circuit is done, but before connecting the battery to the circuit and the board to the computer, let's take a look at the example sketch. Make sure you're using the same pin numbers in your sketch and with your Arduino board. We use these variables to keep track of the state of the program and to keep track of the motor. In the setup, we need to tell if we are using the pins as input or output. Also, it is good to set the enable pin as low so the motor doesn't start spinning right away. First, we read the current state of the both switches and read the value we get from the potentiometer. Then we check the states of the switches. If the on-off switch has a different state than previously and if it's pressed, we turn the motor on and off. The same way if the direction switch has a different state than previously and if it's pressed, we change the direction it is spinning. We control the direction of the motor using the H bridge's control pins and control the speed of the motor by turning the potentiometer. At the end of the loop, we update the previous state variables with the current values for the next round. Now we can connect the battery and our board to the computer and upload the example sketch. Before assembling the Zotrope, we should try that everything works as intended. Press the turn on off switch to start the motor. It is the switch that is connected to digital pin 5. Turn the potentiometer to control the speed of the motor. Press the on off switch again to stop the motor. Press the switch that is connected to digital pin 4 to change the direction and then you can start the motor again. In the previous project, we created a pinwheel, and now we're going to use that to create our own zoetrope. See the instructions on page 111 on the project's book. 
You might have different images in your Zotrope depending on what version of the starter kit you have. You can also use this strip of paper as an example and create your own animations. If you do that, share those animations on social media or the comment section below. In the next project, we're going to use an LCD screen. See you then. Mm -hmm.